Greetings from Eagles Camp at Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, here with Namdi Asama after a, uh, an extremely hot morning of practice. Um, Namdi, I wouldn't be a Sports Illustrated employee if I didn't ask you. You're on the cover this week. How does that yeah. feel? Yeah, it feels great. You know, it feels great. I'm glad that uh, that, that happened and it could, you know, bring some, uh, you know, early exposure to the team. Not like the team needed it, you know, but... <laughs> Uh, you know, I think it's uh, it's really good, really good. Um, I wondered two things about the process itself. All along, we had heard, and I guess unreliably, you wanted to play for the New York Jets. You wanted to go to New York. You wanted to go to the big media market. Was that untrue? Was Philadelphia the team that, given everything, you really wanted to play for? No, I did. You know, I did have uh, you know a few teams that were on the list and obviously the Jets were definitely on there so um, yes that that was true um, but you know when we went that was true that you were interested in the Jets seriously absolutely. yeah 100% but when we you know when we when I put the list together in March you know the Eagles were the number one team it just depended on what was going to happen once free agency started you know but yeah absolutely there were there were a few teams that were in there was there even this much that said how cool would it be to play with Revis for the next four or five years? Absolutely. Yeah, that was a part of the process. All those months that we waited, yeah. so many scenarios went through my head and, and, and went through my team's head, the people that uh, I was working with, my brother and everybody. Um, you know, and that obviously came up, and that was a big, definitely a big factor. And, you know, and there were other scenarios with other teams that were huge factors. And, and uh, you know, it was tough because these are they're all, all the teams that we dealt with in the end were – you know, first class organizations, you couldn't really find something wrong with those teams, you know, but you always went, we always went back to what was the list in March when we started and how did it shape out? And we always knew that the Eagles were on top. One thing about today, this was obviously, a, uh, you know, one of the first times you get to work against these guys and now you're in pads and you're going one on one. And your friend uh, Vince Young, you're represented by the same agency, goes back to pass. You're in coverage in the slot. You leap and you make an interception. And I wonder, on the first day, cra big crowd here, your teammates watching you say, hey, is this big guy really worth the money to come up with a play like that? How did that feel? Yeah, it was great. You know, getting, uh, like I was saying earlier, to the guys getting the interception on the first day is huge because, you know, it just lets you know, first of all, you can catch, and then second of all, <laughs> let the, the people know that you can cover, you know, and there was no, um, there wasn't too much thinking on it, it was just go out there and make a play, but, you know, throughout the day, there were things that I'm, you know, I'm trying to learn, it's the first day, I haven't played football since December, you know, or January 2nd, I think was the last game, so it was, it, there was still some weird, weirdness to, you know, I, I was trying to get back into it a little bit, and um, obviously I got to learn the coverages, and, and, uh, and get that down because there were some mix-ups out there too. So it had its pluses, it had its minuses, but it was good to get out finally and, and play. Hey, well, listen, we wish you the best. Thanks, it's going to be fun to watch you this year. Thank you. Good man. From Eagles Camp, I'm Peter King.